Yeah. Thank you everyone for coming in. Thank you for the neighborhood groups putting this forum together. I'd like to address the uh, topics that uh, we're going to be talking about. Uh, starting off with the sex offenders, uh, our courts have already deemed them to, uh, uh, have already suggested that they register and they're not like, a, like any one of us, ladies and gentlemen. They are different, different and I uh, would not um, uh, support them being uh, in libraries, schools, or near our playgrounds. As far as the muzzle laws go, I was conflicted on this issue and I know it was very important to the neighborhood groups, but I've owned dogs my whole life. Back in the 70s, I had Dobermans and the same issues were brought up about them then. But I was very pleased that the city council allowed to have this a temporary enforcement, and I was glad to see that the uh, the low police were going, uh, the dog officers were going to be part of the low uh, police department. As far as the cure fees go, our kids are not criminals. Uh, I think the um, we have to understand about protecting our children and the lack of supervision. And that being said, my mother always said nothing good happens after midnight. So. Uh, it's like, uh, expansion of our police. We have budget constraints, but we also have a partnership with UMass Lowell, our housing police, uh, national parks. We have backups from Chelmsford, Drakeit, and Tuxbury police. And we also have um, the sheriff's department to ride along with the uh, LPD to uh, look for warrant suspects. And I believe we could possibly use our, our cadets when they're at, at the academy uh, for uh, neighborhood um, walks. Uh, regarding public security, um, many communities across the country are looking into a secure uh, communities program. So uh, even, even though the government does not uh, reimburse the cities and towns for this program, I think we will be able to do this simply um, with uh, simpler means with the uh, use of uh, our, our uh, internet. So um, that's something to look at. So thank you so much. My name is Paul Belay. I'll be number nine on the ballot. I would like to thank you all for being here tonight. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I, I became an, uh, a neighborhood activist uh, in 2006 after the floods, Mother's Day floods. And I've stayed involved in the neighborhoods. I've addressed many of the neighborhood issues, zoning, abandoned properties, conservation issues. I've stayed involved working with all the neighborhood groups in the city for the last so many years. I want to be a, a city council because I think I understand what what, what the issues are in the neighborhoods because I've been working in them so long. Public safety, that's a problem. We've talked about that. And I think I spoke earlier about the, the uh, Secure uh, Communities Program, Chief. I think uh, one of your, uh, uh, Deputy Chief Ryan spoke about it on the radio uh, uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, that's another tool that we, that we can look at as a city to, for our public safety issues. So anyway, um, that's it. Uh, neighborhood groups, you are the eyes and ears. You help the police, and you keep an eye on your neighborhoods. So please give me that opportunity. Uh, November 8th, my name is Paul Belay, number nine. Thanks.